School Language Arts teacher and author of Lucia Chronicles. Today's video is a short YA book review of The Last Star by Rick Yancey. And this is the last book in the Fifth Wave trilogy. And to be honest, when I finished it, my first thought was, huh, I kind of don't get it. Um, basically, in my opinion, The Fifth Wave was the best book. The Infinite Sea, I didn't really like as much. And then this book, I liked even less. And I'm kind of not exactly sure why I didn't like it. Um, basically, if you're not familiar with the series, the general premise is that there's an alien invasion. And the alien invasion happens in waves. Um, like the first wave is natural disasters, the second wave is um, they cut the electricity, the third wave I believe is a plague, and then um, the fourth wave is where they download, um, they had pre these beings had downloaded consciousness into some of the humans when they were embryos, and then um, when they hit puberty it becomes um, aware, and then basically they're here to wipe out the humans and basically as a human who doesn't have the consciousness um, you don't know who to trust and so people start just killing complete strangers without even knowing whether they're you know alien or human and it's kind of you know turns everyone against each other and it's the aliens way of like cleansing our planet and then the fifth wave is just kind of total annihilation where they bomb all of our cities so this book the last star is leaning up to the fifth wave of um, the bombings of the cities and it's broken down into sections of you know the first day the second day the third day the last day kind of and each book had more and more perspective so the first book was pretty much Cassie's perspective and I think um, Evan Walker's perspective and then the second book started adding more because then we got like Ben Parrish and then his squad then this book has even more um, perspectives in it and I don't know like I just didn't find I found myself reading it because I'd read the other two books and I wanted to finish the trilogy if I had found out say it was going to be like a five or six book series or even a four book series I probably wouldn't have bothered finishing it um, to be honest basically the all the the meat of it is stuff that we've seen before you know humanity needing hope alien consciousness can't understand love love will always triumph um, the people who have hope are the people who will sustain and really uh, a little bit of a spoiler here that so if you're not interested you might want to plug your ears for a couple seconds but it kind of has like uh, the tragic Tris 4 kind of ending and to be honest I didn't like that ending in Divergent so I didn't like it here either like I really don't care about Ben Parrish and I really don't care about Ringer all that much I mean I care about Ben Parrish maybe a little bit more than I care about Ringer but I really care about Cassie and Evan Walker and I feel kind of gypped in that respect um, because I thought Cassie was a pretty realistic uh, protagonist from the first book and that kind of has gotten lost in the shuffle there's a lot about God and religion kind of in this book not in an in-your-face way but each character at some point grapples with like you know a God complex of some sort like um, you know if there's a God how could he do this kind of thing um, I do think something realistic that the book portrayed is I do think that humans would all turn on each other if we watch natural disasters uh, like Hurricane Katrina, what do people do? They loot and rob stores for big screen TVs. And I think that is a pretty realistic way. I think that eventually, once that excitement died down, is that, you know, human beings would become less trustworthy. And I think it's just the way we've evolved and it's our very primitive, like, fight versus flight kind of thing that we you know, we want to survive and that's what happens as you become fight or flight. So I think that was portrayed uh, pretty realistically and he pretty much said as much I think there were, you know, there was looting and robbing in the beginning and like when the power goes out and then eventually like it becomes more of a survival because what does it matter if you have a big screen TV, you have to find food and then it kind of progresses into a, you know, if I don't know you, you're a threat kind of thing. Um, yeah, I just, eh, I don't know. It, that's my feelings on the book is it was just kind of there. I like 
you know, the last star concept in the book. Um, but, yeah, I was kind of disappointed in this series uh, overall, and basically I just finished it to finish it. So, um, I don't know. I give it three stars because I'm usually hard-pressed to give a book less than that. Like, that to me just means, yeah, it was okay. Like, would I reread it ever? No. Do I care if it gets turned into a movie? No. So, I thought The Fifth Wave was the best book of the series, um, and that's all I got for you. So, The Last Star by Rick Yancey. Yeah, you might want to read it. I don't know. So, if you're into the aliens and you're a die-hard Fifth Wave person, or if you've read other works by Rick Yancey, perhaps you would enjoy it more than I did. But, in the meanwhile, happy reading and happy writing. Mm -hmm.